Darling, darling. We're in the legacy room, and all the history of the Giants, it's in this room. We got four Super Bowl trophies. Now, I didn't purposely put that good-looking guy right there. It seems there. perfectly placed for what's Perfect. going on right now. Think you'll be here one day? Uh, that's the plan. You know what I mean? It just, you always want to be part of something so great. And, you know, of course, I would love to be able to maybe hold one of those up as you did. It's got to be one of the best feelings in the world. The thrill is gone. Our debut was a masterpiece, but in the end for you and me on this show. Now, it's really amazing what you've done and what you've accomplished in a short period of time. Are you overwhelmed at times with all the attention? Man, story of my life right now. With everything that's happened, I wouldn't trade it for the world. At times, I feel as if it's not recognized that, you know, we're still human beings. At times, I do get overwhelmed. First of all, it's very hard to not stand out with the hairstyle. Every time you take off the helmet, I'm like, whoa, the lion's <laughs> mane is roaring. And um, I follow you on Instagram and Twitter. You're always singing. He gonna be a tough guy, never be a punchline. You're always rapping. Make sure you hit him with the bring up. What do you want to be? You want to be a singer? You want to be a rapper? You want to be a dancer? All of the above. <laughs> really? <laughs> the way I am or what you see on Instagram and everything, that's really how I am. If I'll probably go home now, put on music, and I'll be dancing at home by myself. I love the way you play. I really do. Because as a receiver, you play like a defensive player. You are aggressive. You make a play and you let people know you've made a play. But do you think that that has set you up to be a target? It, it definitely has set me up to be a target. I don't, I don't want anybody to feel as if I'm trying to shine on you or you're taking it personal. But at the same time, I don't want anybody taking things to a personal level on me. And, you know, that kind of goes with uh, the, the whole targeting thing. And, you know, now people, they want to hit you even harder. I watched in the first Cowboy game, the first catch, the hit, for a minute, I'm like, did uh -oh. they kill my boy? Absolutely. What got you up from that hit, first of all? No, I just... Never want to let anybody see that, you know, they really got to you. And um, I haven't really been hit like that. So um, it, it was one of those times, you know, I had to stand up and I just had to try and collect myself. So you're not going to let it change the way you play? Definitely not. It's football, man. It's a, you're going to come after me, you're going to come after me. Now, when you go against the Cowboys, do you remember that? Is that like something in the back of your mind? It's in the back you of my got mind. me. Now it's maybe a little payback time. I promise you that. It's definitely in the back of my mind. If the opportunity presents itself, it will it will be a nice opportunity for me. You guys are banged up. The Cowboys are banged up. And um, Des Bryant isn't playing. Do you kind of wish that he was playing? You know, we, we talk, and he's one of my boys. You want him to be out there and, um, you know, watching him make plays. Even though it's on your team, it mm -hmm. inspires you. You know, you want to go out there and, and do the same thing that he was doing. I got to be the best. You got to do it big, as I always feel. Show. Sure.